Hi, my name is Nushi Menon, and today I will be discussing the mercury contamination in Minamata Bay, Japan. Here are the objectives of the environmental pollution in Minamata Bay. Bay. Understand how mercury contamination happened in Minamata Bay, how Minamata disease affected thousands of victims, and the Minamata Bay cleanup. Here is the table of contents, and we will go over timeline of events, mercury contamination by area and time, victims of Minamata disease, Minamata Bay cleanup, and outcomes of mercury contamination. We will discuss the timeline events as we go along in the presentation. The timeline displays the official discovery of Minamata disease to the moment Minamata Bay was declared safe and fishing efforts were resumed. Each point on the line will be mentioned as we go through the presentation. In 1956, strange symptoms were reported in Minamata City. A young girl and other neighborhood children were experiencing neurological symptoms. The doctor reported epidemic of an unknown disease of the central nervous system. On May 1, 1956, Minamata disease was officially discovered. The disease is a methyl mercury poisoning caused by the daily consumption of large quantities of fish and shellfish that are heavily contaminated with toxic chemicals. To backtrack, in 1908, the Chizu Corporation opened a chemical factory in Minamata. The factory disposed of its waste into Minamata Bay and later to the mouth of the Minamata River leading to the contamination of the entire Sharanu Sea. In 1959, Kumado University presented an official report of organic mercury poisoning induced by the intake of polluted fish and shellfish caught in the bay. The methylmercury generated by acetaldehyde production came from the Chizo factory and was identified as toxic agent of Minamata disease. To date, over 2,000 certified people have been affected by this disease. This serious disaster happened from polluted fish, which is reflected in the bar graph regarding the fish catches from the bay. Fish catches, which are in tons, represented in the graph, are from Fisheries Cooperative Associates in Minamata. A number of fish catches from 1950 to 1956 drastically decreased. Total fish catches in 1956 had decreased to almost one-fifth of that in 1950 to 1953. Even though it decreases over time, they still consumed a large quantity of seafood. As the mercury contamination continued to rise, the Chizu Corporation installed a water purification tank, which led most people to believe the Minamata disease was resolved. Turns out the tank wasn't filtering the mercury components, and the second Minamata disease epidemic occurred in 1965, where patients of methyl mercury poisoning were found along the basin of the Agano River in Niigata Prefecture. Showa Denko's Kanko's factory, located on the upper Agano River, which had been synthesizing acetaldehyde until January 1965, had also been releasing their waste into the sea. This map on your right shows areas where methyl mercury poisoning occurred. In Section A, the Shurnai Sea, Section B, Minamata Bay, Section C, Agano River area, residential areas of certified patrons are all also shown by the color yellow. In September 1968, the government presented two epidemics of Minamata disease and stated that the causative agent in Kumamato was methylmercury discharged from Chizo factory and the waste of Kanko's factory had been the main cause of the methyl mercury pollution in Niigata. After four years of lawsuits, the Niigata and Kumono district courts in 1971 and 1973 respectively ruled that full respons responsibility was to both companies. This pie chart represents the amount of people that were victims of the disease. 2.2% were survivors, which was just about 528 people from among the 3,000 certified victims, which is 12.8% of the victims, and more than 20,000 people have sought to be designated victims, hoping for legal compensation, which is 85%.
of the victims. There are many people that are still fighting to be heard. So many people are affected by this disease that they wanted to quickly find a way to clean up the bay. So they came up with a project called Minibara Bay Cleanup. Sludge containing mercury with concentration as high as several hundred milligrams per liter of total mercury had deposited four meters deep in the bay. From 1974 to 1990, Kumamoto Prefecture carried out the project for removing about 1,500,000 cubic meters of bottom sediment of the bay that contained mercury. The removal of the sediment took approximately 10 years to complete. During this environmental disaster, Chizo had compensated the fishing industry and the patients of mercury poisoning. This table represents payment of compensation under compensation agreement with patients. So on the one column it says the beneficial item, so medical expense for example, and the total number of medical expenses towards the disease was completely covered. Then they also had cash benefits, roughly 22 million yen, which is about 169,000 yen per month, which was their allowance, was given to each patient. Then non-medical care, which is 24,000 yen per month, cost of funerals, which is 644,000 yen per month, and other side features such as relaxation packages, hot springs, and massages were also given to the victims. As time went on, there was more victims, and this line graph represents number of certified patients who survived the disease and received a compensation from Chizo over the years. As you can see, there's a peak in 1985 where the most victims were able to get compensated as time goes on, a lot of people didn't make it, and Chizo was making it hard for many victims to get compensated. Minamana Bay today has been restored by removing the sediments over the last 10 years as we spoke about earlier. Chizo continues to pay for various compensations, but there is a fear that the contamination will occur again, but as of right now, we are closely monitoring the methyl mercury and the fish in the bay. Summary, Minamata disease is a methylmercury poisoning caused by consumption of fish that were polluted by the Chizo Corporation and Kingso Factory chemical waste that were poured into the sea. Numerous victims have been compensated for the disease while many fight to be certified. Minamata Bay Cleanup has been successful in the last 10 years and continue to be monitored. And here are my references. Thank you.